I told you to wait. Why do you cry for them? Hmm? After everything they did to you. You think that you need them, but you don't. But I know you're just scared. I was scared once too. I know what it's like to be different. To be alone in this world. Like you, I didn't fit in with the other children. Something was wrong with me. All the teachers and doctors said that I was broken. My parents thought a change of scenery, a fresh start in Hawkins, just might cure me. It was absurd, as if the world would be any different here. But then, to my surprise, our new home provided a discovery, a newfound sense of purpose. I found a nest of black widows living inside a vent. Those people fear spiders. They detest them. And yet, I found them endlessly fascinating. More than that, I found a great comfort in them. A kinship. Like me, they are solitary creatures. And deeply misunderstood. They are gods of our world the most important of all predators. They mobilize and feed on the weak, bringing balance and order to the unstable ecosystem. But the human world was disrupting this harmony. You see, humans are a unique type of pest, multiplying and poisoning our world, all while enforcing a structure of their own. Deep unnatural structure. Where others saw order, I saw a straight jacket, a cruel, oppressive world dictated by made-up rules. Seconds, minutes, hours, days, weeks, months, years, decades, each life a faded, lesser copy of the one before. Wake up, eat, work, sleep, reproduce, and die. Everyone is just Waiting, waiting for it all to be over, all while performing this silly, terrible play, day after day. I could not do that. I could not close off my mind and join in the madness. I could not pretend. But then I realized I didn't have to. I can make my own rules. I could restore balance to a broken world. A predator, but for good. As I practiced, I realized I could do more than I possibly imagined. I could reach into others, into their minds, into their memories. I became an explorer. I saw my parents as they truly were. To the world, they presented themselves as good, normal people. But like everything else in this world, it was a lie. All a terrible lie. They had done things, Eleven. Such awful things. I showed them who they really were. I held up a mirror. My naive father believed it was a demon cursing them for their sins. But my mother somehow knew it was I holding up that mirror. And she despised me for it. She called the doctor an expert. She wanted them to lock me away, to fix me. Even though it wasn't I who was broken, it was them. So she left me with no choice. No choice but to act, to break free. With each life I took, I became stronger, more powerful. They were becoming part of me. But I was still a child. 
and I did not yet know the boundaries and it nearly killed me. My father was arrested, accused of the murders of my mother and sister, just as I had planned. But I was far from free. I woke up from my coma just to find myself in the hands of the very doctor I had hoped to escape, Dr. Martin Brennan. Papa. But the truth, Eleven, the truth is he did not just want to study me. He wanted more. He wanted control. And when he finally realized not control me. He tried to recreate me. He began a program. Soon, others were born. You were born, Eleven. I'm so very glad. So very glad. They're not gone, Eleven. Still with me. In here. Tricked you. No, I saved you. You are a prisoner here just like me. To your papa, you are nothing more than an animal, a monster, a lab rat to be tamed. But the truth, Levin, the truth is just the opposite. You are better than they are. Superior. That's why you frighten him. If you come with me for the first time in your life, you will be free. Imagine what we could do together. We could recreate the world. We could reshape it however we see fit. Join me.